Hey man, did you know that it's raining out? <laughs> Out here. Even us, we have trouble getting in sometimes. But luckily, we're able to use the photos that we had uh, from the rental ad prior to that tenant getting placed in there. And, you know, it was pretty decent reno. All right, we're going to get a business card. Okay, if he's got any. So I know we get a lot of new investors who watch our shows or see our properties listed online. And they're like, oh, that looks great, man. When can I come look inside of it? <laughs> Never, dog. Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sale show, folks. Thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't watch TV, giving it to you straight. Let me talk to y'all about meat. Meat on the bone, son. Meat on the bone, y'all. Because that's what I got for you, right? Check this out. 3149 Elm Street, Toledo, baby. Check it out. Meat on the bone. Uh, market rent for this thing is 12 Current rent, 860 right? Uh, this is a single-family home owned by a mom-and-pop landlord, okay? Uh, we have some photos and some exterior footage for you, right? So I don't know what uh, my guys have on the screen for you. I'm imagining some type of smorgasbord of both of those, right? Uh, we did not actually get our video team inside uh, for this property uh, when we were out there for our appointment. Uh, tenant was unable to get us inside and, uh, you know, they're supposed to be there, but then they weren't there. That kind of thing happens in the game, in, in the business of selling rental properties, by the way. If you guys out there uh, are brand new investors and, and you are trying to buy your first rental property, a rental property like this is perfect for first-time investors. It's fairly low risk. You have kind of a long-term tenant. It's in pretty decent shape. They're paying a decent amount of rent, and we'll be able to increase that rent, but more on that later. What I want to discuss right now specifically, though, is this is a good starter property, right? This is a good uh, deal for people trying to buy their first rental property, right? You got to buy one before you can buy two, before you can buy three, before you got a hundred, before you're a multimillionaire, right? Although if you got a hundred, you're already a multimillionaire. Uh, but given that a lot of people out there are going to be newbies who are attracted to this kind of investment, I think it's important for me to kind of illustrate to you guys how the business actually works, right? Uh, tenants are not uh, usually uh, very open to the idea of random people walking in and out of their house, right? Especially tenants post-COVID, right? It was always difficult to get uh, random people inside of occupied homes uh, prior to COVID, after COVID. It's like basically unheard of, right? So I know we get a lot of new investors who watch our shows or see our properties listed online and they're like, oh, that looks great, man. When can I come look inside of it? Fucking never, dog. Fucking never. We have to go through all kinds of hoops uh, when we actually get people uh, into the properties and uh, I have to send a whole film crew out and that's why we do the film crew thing, right? So we can uh, show you guys what the properties look like like, uh, because we do not allow random tire kickers to just uh, waltz into these homes where these people are living. Now, you were not going to have to buy it completely sight unseen, of course. At some point, you will be able to get inside. So what we do is we'll accept offers uh, with two contingencies, y'all. Contingent on inspection and contingent on appraisal. That's two times both your home inspector and your appraiser are going to enter this home. You could enter the home one or both of those times. But at no other time uh, will we disturb the tenant, right? Even us, we have trouble getting in sometimes. Times. But luckily, we're able to use the photos that we had uh, from the rental ad prior to that tenant getting placed in there. And, you know, it was pretty decent reno. And the tenant was placed in there at 860, which brings me back to what I was originally wanting to talk about before I went off into that little, uh, you know, rental property invest in 101 tangent. And that's meat, baby, meat on the bone. By the way, before I came in uh, to work today, Oh, boy, put me a whole slab of ribs, lathered that up, made some, like, spicy hot ribs. I got, I got the meat sweats uh, seasoning, rubbed all that in there, the dry rub, and then I, I went with some, uh, some barbecue sauce, and then I went with some hot sauce, and then a little bit of sweet chili sauce, right? Give it that little hot barbecue tag. Slapped all that stuff up into the crock pot. I'm going to get home probably around 5.30, Throw it in the broiler for a few minutes and go to town, man. Who is hungry for some ribs? I'm really hungry. I had a small dinner or a small breakfast this morning. Anyway, uh, meat. Meat on the bone, y'all. Meat on the bone. 
Not barbecue rib meat, though. No, not not tangy, spicy, hot barbecue. That's my own little recipe. I, I concocted that this morning. Well, I thought about it last night when I took the ribs out of the freezer, and I was thawing them, and I was watching some YouTube videos and a couple videos. I was like, oh, I like that, I like this, and I combined them all together. Anyway, while you guys are here, subscribe to the Holton Wise TV YouTube channel. YouTube's where it's at, y'all. You could buy investment properties in Toledo, Ohio. You could also put together rib recipes. But let's get back to what I was trying to talk about. Seriously, guys, meat on the bone. I think it's a good starter property, okay? I think it's a good starter property. I've walked you guys through kind of the process of, like, how you'll make your offer and, like, actually get to do your due diligence and view it. Uh, but what we need to talk about is that meat, okay? The particular seller put that tenant in there at 860 Month-to-month -month tenant. We'll be able to increase that rent. 1200 is what the current market rent is in Toledo for a house like this, okay? We have seen a huge rental increase, like an unprecedented uh, rental increase, right, over the last few years in Toledo and, of course, through all of America, right? Uh, COVID, on the negative side, it made it much harder to get inside of tenants' units. I guess you could call that a negative. Uh, but on the positive side, the whole COVID thing and coming out of COVID really skyrocketed those rent prices, guys. So you'll be able to pick this thing up for $69.9. It's going to cash flow just fine with the current tenant paying 860 and you have so much barbecued meat on that bone, so much room to raise that tenant's rent up, right? $1,200 for only $69.9. If the tenant was already paying $1,200, we'd probably have to sell it to you for like ninety k, right? But you get the opportunity uh, to slide in there, pick something up with the meat on the bone, get it for a nice discount, $69.9, and just make some annual uh, rent increases, right? I wouldn't go all the way to $1,200 right away because once you get them all the way up to market, and that's like a friggin' $340 or something like that, $340 increase, they may just go, ah, oh, screw this guy, I'm moving out, right? But if you do it slower, like you go up like 150, they're like, dang, I don't want to pay another 150, but I can't find anywhere else to live for that price, so I'll just pay it, I won't move, right? That's how I've always ran my business, and uh, it's, it's made me millions of dollars, so... Uh, I suggest you do the same uh, if, if you'd like to. But if not, that's totally cool, too. I mean, there's a lot of different ways uh, to do this kind of stuff, right? I mean, you got Memphis barbecue. Uh, you got Carolina barbecue. There's so many different options that are all good. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but that's just how I like to do it, right? I like to do it where I slowly raise them up because, in my opinion, when we're investing in these properties, I think the biggest and easiest way to lose money uh, is by having constant turnovers, right? I'll, I'll tell you this. Uh, as somebody who's done $200 million worth of deals out here in Ohio, okay, I'll tell you this. You got one Toledo landlord right here, another Toledo landlord right here. If this Toledo landlord has a house that's got a market rent of 1200 and he rents it to somebody for $900 uh, and that person stays for 10 years, He's going to make more money than this Toledo landlord who's got a $1,200 rental that he rents for $1,200, but over the course of 10 years, instead of having one tenant paying him $900 every month, he's got three, four, or five tenants over that 10-year period, and he's got three, four, or five turnovers. Who do you think is going to make more money? It's this guy. It's the guy that had one tenant, right? Because the turnovers, the vacancy, the releasing fees, fixing up the property. Like when these folks move out, guys, the property don't look like it does before, right? These pictures that we have for you of what it looked like before that tenant moved in, when that tenant moves all of their belongings out of this property, it ain't going to look that fresh and clean again. You're going to have to repaint, patch holes, fix dings, fix that, fix this. You're always going to have those costs, guys. So you always want to keep them in there, right? So there's a lot of meat on the bone for you here. But eat it slow, baby. It's like ribs. You got to slow cook it to make it good. All right, maybe I'll get a business card. Okay, if he's got any. I know, right? I think that's one that we should get a uh, glamour shot of the roof. Hey man, did you know that it's fucking raining out? It's fucking gross out here. I gave that guy. That's what that, uh, F, what did you say, C, F, R, E? 
Yeah, yeah. Yeah, stick close together. There's some dude who keeps circling the block. Just so. Really? Yeah. yeah. What vehicle? Uh, uh, Malibu. Oh, uh, screw shot. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.